Hello. Okay, I'm back. Maybe going to get some people riled up about soft start on a transformer. and Maybe somebody will learn something, hopefully. So what I have here, I have this cord coming from an outlet down around the back there. And go into this. And then going to this power supply. And just so you know, the white wire here is connected to the yellow wire. The hot here. So basically, this is plugged into the wall right now. The only option is I can use this red wire instead of just going direct. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to use that light bulb for soft start. What I'm going to show you is transformers, when you unplug them or turn the switch off, however you shut it down, the core of the transformer stays magnetized. And it can stay magnetized pretty neutral or it can be... Um, North Pole, South Pole, whatever you want it to be there with the AC wave and if by chance when you turn it on you happen to catch the wave in the same position that the core is magnetized you will hear nothing and the transformer will start really soft all on its own and if you're unlucky and you switch your transformer on huh got it that time you heard that it's a nice hard hit on the transformer enough to jar the whole damn case and make it ping won't happen every time I can do this a bunch of times and it may ping every time and it may not depends on where you catch the wave when you turn it on and where you left it when you turned it off bottom line is that's a physical jar to your electrical system and a physical jar to your transformer and the windings in the transformer and everything between the primary of the transformer and your outlet and whatever else whatever you want to name it so if you're lucky it'll be smooth every time and if you're not this is like playing roulette black or red you know odd or even but what I'm going to show you is if you use a resistance, in this case a light bulb, to softly remagnetize the core so it'll be aligned with the current wave when you give it full power, it will never ping. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Let me turn this off, take off our hot there, turn the switch back on, and now this will do the same thing as the switch. Oh, I got, look at that, I got like a bunch in a row. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Depends on where the wave lands. Now, if I connect this on there, now the light bulb is in series. And you probably can't see, but the light bulb is glowing faintly right now. If I put a switch or a timer and connect the light bulb first, then the power to the transformer. Light bulb first, power to the transformer. Light bulb first, power to the transformer. First, transformer. As long as I do it in that order, through the light bulb first for the soft start, your transformer will never get jarred. Your electrical system on the primary will never get shocked. You'll be able to run a smaller fuse and not worry about it popping when you turn on your power. Everything's better with soft start. Can you see what I'm doing there? Just all it takes is a microsecond through the light bulb before the main power. What I do when I put soft start on amplifiers, I use a 75 ohm 20 watt resistor. Works perfect. There you go. How to do soft start with a light bulb or a resistor, whatever you want to do. If you choose to use a resistor or a light bulb, make sure you don't accidentally leave it on in the soft start position long enough that your light bulb's going to melt something or your resistor is going to melt something. Most people use a timer. Sometimes they use a timer. Sometimes I simply um, put a two position switch that goes to the, the resistor before the main power is on. Anyways, there you go. Have fun. Hopefully someone learned something.